Hey, how's it going? Miles here at Tactical Hive with the first video for the new year for 2022. And in the new year, we have a lot in store for you guys. We're gonna be doing a lot more of what we've been doing. So educational content, training content, but we're also going to be moving more into the tactical side of things. So I know a lot of you are looking out for that the defensive side of things as well. So we are going to be producing a lot more content in 2022 that aligns with that. We're also going to be doing a lot more vetted gear and gun reviews. We haven't done a lot of them in the past because Unlike a lot of other channels out there, we really are going to put these products to the test. And the fact is we get sent a lot of products, none of them make it because we're not happy with them. So that's why you haven't been seeing a lot of reviews, but we've been around now for two years and now we've collected a lot of products that we've been testing and we're getting even more sent in and we're putting them to the test right now. So expect that to come from us more gun and gear reviews. That said, this first video, we wanted to kind of change things up because some of you may or may not know the truth is, I haven't been shooting for a very long time. I haven't been in the tactical space for a very long time. Pretty much since the start was May of 2019. Now, we've been recording pretty much everything. And at the first time I took my first shots, we recorded some diagnostic tests. There were three exercises. One of them was a 25 yard B8 target, you know, how well I would do in terms of accuracy from 25 yards. Second was the dot torture drill. And the last one was just simple Mozambique drill. And we used two weapon platforms. We used the Glock 19 as well as a SIG P365. There's no modifications in them. They're all stock, except for the Glock 19. The Glock 19 um, has a match barrel and different sights, but everything else is the same. So what we thought would be pretty cool is to really see where I'm at today versus May of 2019 when I took those first shots. And I think you're gonna be really surprised. Well, I know that in terms, my performance in 2019 was atrocious, right? And you're gonna see it in the video, but we're gonna compare to see, you know, we'll see where I'm at today doing those three tests. We thought it would just be cool to see that comparison before and after. And also just to kind of show you guys that it's not necessarily the length of time that you're shooting, but it, it is the quality of your training and your practice. And as some of you may know as well, I don't like shooting. I don't love shooting. It's not a passion of mine. I'm obsessed with it, right? I've put down so many rounds, not just the pistol, shotgun, rifle, long gun, not just sport, tactical training, all of that, militaristic. And if you guys have been following us from the very beginning, you see the journey. It's not just about marksmanship, you know, bulls action, it's everything. So I'm obsessed with this stuff. So let's take a look at uh, what being obsessed with shooting does in, in two years. So the first exercise that we did way back in 2019 was a slow fire grouping at a B8 target, 25 yards away, 10 shots, both with the P365 and the Glock 19. Both guns are stock, right? The Glock does have modified sights, a fiber optic front sight, and there's a match barrel. But other than that, everything is completely stock. And now we're gonna compare my performance from way back when to today, the first week of January of 2022. I wanna be in full transparency. I have put a lot of rounds through both platforms. Since uh, that first time, the SIG, I've shot anywhere between 40 and 60,000 rounds. With the Glock 19, I've definitely put over 100,000 rounds in that gun. In full transparency though, I have not been, you know, these exercises, I haven't done them in a long, long time with either firearm platform. So this is gonna be a true test to kind of see if those marksmanship fundamentals apply because I haven't, when I shoot my Glock 19 and my SIG P365 these days, it's more if we're doing a tactical class um, or just to kind of keep keep up with it, but not, I, I don't really test myself with it that much because these days I'm really focused on competition. So um, I spread myself so thinly among different weapon platforms, you know, the precision rifle, rifle, shotgun, all that stuff. So it, it's something that, for me, I need to focus now, so I'm doing more sport. But now let's take it back to where I started and see how I do. So we're gonna start off with the Glock 19. All right, so guys, here's the target. 
And just um, so you guys are aware, I didn't have any B8 targets. So we're just using the six inch circle for reference. So we don't have the actual score, but you can just basically tell from the grouping. When you compare 2019 with the Glock, I had a smaller grouping in the center. So three were in the black, then three were out. And uh, then we had four shots that didn't even make the hit, the hit the bullseye. With this, at least we have all 10 in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All 10 shots are in. And definitely much, much smaller group and better. I felt these two out here and it's primarily because I'm, you know, I'm not used to the trigger when it comes to these for a lot longer shots. I haven't really practiced this. So it was really cool to know that these two shots were out, right? But as you can see here, the it is definitely better, right? So with a lot of work and practice you're going to get here. The cool thing is, again, I haven't been really shooting the platform a lot. So this just goes to show the fundamentals apply to any uh, firearm platform. With the Glock 19 down, let's move on to the P365. All right, so as you can see, compared to 2019, um, it's much better. Everything's on paper. And in 2019, I had, similar to the Glock, but a little bit of a larger group, three in the black, others hit the target, but not in the black, and then four shots completely missed. All shots are here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. It's a definitely a wider spread, but all are in, so there's, clearly improvement. And here's uh, something, uh, being honest, I was getting impatient. So I would, f I could feel these shots because I'm not used to, again, I, I don't like necessarily like that slow fire. I don't, I'm not a bullseye shooter or anything like that. So I was, I was like, okay, I'm getting impatient. I'm just rushing it. So I actually felt these shots. And also what was, what was messing me up, I forgot about the hold. So the Glock, on my Glock, I have a center hold, right? On my SIG, I have a uh, combat hold. Hold. So what that means is that dot in your in your front sight should be covering roughly where you want to hit, right? So what happens is I was aiming a little low for some of them, just not even really thinking and breaking the shot when the edge of my front sight was lower. So that's going to explain some of these low hits. What is also what was interesting is that compared to my Glock, which has a, a thinner front sight, the SIG P365 has a thick front sight, right? These are, those are combat sights. And so it took a while getting used to this again, because again, I don't really do this, where if I'm trying to be precise, that big front sight literally covers this whole thing. Like I can't even see where I'm shooting, right? So if I move a little to the left, a little lower, it, 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 you know, it'll affect the shot, but I won't really see it. So definitely need more practice to be more precise, but honestly, I'm super happy with this. And again, it, it shows that if your fundamentals are sound, you can pick up pretty much any platform, get used to it, and then dial it in after a few shots. So I'm very happy with this. Let's move on now to the dot torture drill. All right, so the first part of the dot torture drill is that top circle, and I'm gonna take five slow fire shots just from presentation. All right, so here we go. Well, look at that. My first shot is off, so it stops with, uh, with the dot torture drill. So we had a little problem there, ran into a malfunction with the round, is a, something weird, it just didn't uh, eject. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna re redo this drill, but we're just gonna play off of the same target, we're gonna count that first shot, and the reason is we only have one target. So we're just gonna stick with it and continue the drill. And hopefully there's no more malfunctions. Okay, so that's five slow fire shots in the top circle. And now the second circle, I don't even remember what it is, so I'm gonna take a look. <laughs> it is one shot from the holster, five times in a row in the second circle, okay? Circles three and four. So already guys, it's improvement <laughs> compared to me never, not landing one shot in 2019. But let's see how far I can go here. So for circles three and four, I need to take draw one shot on three, one shot on four, four times, right? So that should be eight shots, okay? 
One, two, three, four. So circle five will be five shots strong hand. So I should have enough for this. I might have to do a mag change. So five shots strong hand. Okay, that was five shots exactly, all right? So I'm probably gonna have to reload now. I can't remember what's cir uh, circle six or seven. Let's take a look what it is. And then if I have to reload, I have to reload. I only have two more rounds on me. All right, so I definitely will have to reload. So what's going to happen is for circle six and seven, it's gonna be similar to circles three and four, but this time it's gonna be two shots. So two shots here, two shots here. So a total of, so it's, a, it's gonna be four times, so um, 16 shots, all right? So I'm gonna reload and then we'll continue. Okay, I'm back and all reloaded. So let's do circles six and seven, draw two shots in each circle four times. All right, here we go. I had a brain fart there for a minute. <laughs> I was like, what do I do after circle uh, six? Let's do it again. Two, three, and we got one more. Let's take a reload here. And one more. Okay, so that was circle six and seven. Circle eight is, if I believe, five shots we can. All right, so let's see how this does. If anything's gonna get me, it will be this. <laughs> I'm confident, but not about this. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't shot this, uh, use this trigger in my weak hand in a long time. So five shots. All right, there we go. So I think I may need to reload. Let's take a look at what I have here. So our circles nine and 10. This is draw one on nine, speed reload one on 10, three times. I don't think I have enough rounds here. Let me see here. So I'm gonna need six rounds. We'll see, and I need to speed reload. So what I'm gonna do is I will, I will set this up to do just a speed reload. So a speed reload is one where I don't have to go dry there, right? So um, that is the definition I'm using. I know a slide lock reload is a slide lock reload or a combat reload or emergency reload. Speed reload is when you're just reloading to get the mechanics. So I'm gonna set this up. Um, I'll be back, we'll start the video again. I just wanna make sure I have six rounds and be able to do the reloads uh, easily for you guys. All right, so we're back. Circles nine and 10, draw. One shot on nine, reload. One shot on 10, then redo it all again. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna make sure I'm hot here. I'm doing it from concealment, so I'm gonna draw. One shot on nine. Oh, rush that, but let's see, let's see, let's see. You can see it hit the line. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue off of that. I'm gonna continue off, so this one's a slow rep. I rushed that, so obviously reload, and then 10. All right, so I'm gonna rehash. That's one thing about these drills, you can't get too confident or complacent. <laughs> so let's do it again. But that's a good thing, hit the line. So the second one. And now we have one more to finish it off. Drop. There you guys have it. So clearly a big, difference from 2019 got through everything here dot torture is not time so you can take all you know all the time you want but if you want to you can time yourself if you want to put a standard to that so that's dot torture drill let's move on to the last exercise from 2019 and that's the mozambique drill Last exercise is the popular Mozambique drill. And back in 2019, I did this with the P3C5 and Glock 19. Going to start off with the P3C5. I believe, I had the time in my head, but then um, we'll, we'll find out the accurate time, but I believe it was 3.28. That's what I did last time. Three point two two, as you can tell, fumbled a lot, but uh, that's it. So three point two two. Hopefully, next time it gets better. And so we're going to see how I do now. We're doing this just from three yards. We're copying exactly what I did in twenty nineteen. Right? I have my timer right here, and I'm locked and loaded. So let's just see how I do. Right. So that was a 1.8. So obviously pretty much like 50% better. So let's see how I do now with the Glock 19. So that was 2.38. 
definitely fumbled on that. I'm not gonna repeat that, but uh, 2.38 on the timer. All right, so the Mozambique drill, again, two to the body, one to the head, um, taped up the targets so that uh, we're not mixing up with the P365, right? Here we go. Let me just make sure we're locked and loaded. Good to go. Three shots. All right, so all are in, and that is a 1.73, so a tenth of a second faster than the uh, P365. There you guys have it. We thought it would be cool just to have a little before and after from 2019 to 2022. Three different exercises, slow fire grouping 25 yards, the dot torture drill, and then the popular Mozambique drill. And as you can see, and well, if you recall what I mentioned, I haven't done these exercises in ages with these firearm platforms. I've been focusing a lot on other things, particularly pistol competition shooting. So it, it shows that if you really work your fundamentals, even though you don't really practice certain things, that you can go back to it and you should be able to perform rather well. Now, of course, if you're continuing to do these exercises all the time, then you'll be even better, right? But again, just thought it'd be a cool video to start 2022 out. Make sure to tune in, you know, with our, our upcoming videos. Again, we're changing things up for 2022, going to give you guys more reviews, gun gear, and really dive more into the tactile and defensive nature of uh, the content of shooting and training. So hope you guys like it and see you guys in the next video.